Criteria 4.2 is looking at standardization activities. Now, standardization activities are more formal than general meetings, and they are there to discuss the overall qualification and to see if there's any ways that you can improve your delivery, uh, resources and assessment methods. Storing your uh, standardization activity uh, materials and minutes of the meeting are fantastic for an EQA uh, to see. Some of the key points of a standardization activities is that uh, all staff should ideally be there, okay? If anyone is missing, then you could factor in a one-to-one -one meeting with them to make sure that um, they are not missing out on standardization. Uh, some of the activities that you could have are things such as reviewing a video of an assessment, uh, a mock role play, for example. There could be uh, comparing assessor uh, marks, uh, grading criteria, feedback even. Um, there are a range of different ways that you can uh, you can sort of spend your time within a standardization meeting. Now these are generally more formal uh, than a regular meeting and um, if they are recorded centrally then it's easy to see uh, what went on within the meeting and what is discussed. But gaining feedback from your assessors is very important for you to make any changes for your future courses. For this criteria, we would just like for you to reflect on the different standardisation activities that either you do currently or within the future. Perhaps pick out four different standardisation activities, explain what they are, okay, and apply them uh, to your own uh, industry, okay. Perhaps give examples of what uh, you will do within your future practice.